Okay, I think we can uh, maybe not get into the session itself, but handle several uh, technical uh, bookkeeping stuff. Again, now that we are gathered almost in the entire group, again, apologies for the various technical and not technical difficulties that we have faced past several weeks. I'm glad that you are still with me. Uh, hello, officially new person to the team. Again, hope you'll enjoy your stay and hopefully survive with us till the end of this campaign. Yeah. Uh, not sure how much Kali hyped me up, but uh, I hope it wasn't too much because again, if I, you... tell, I did tell them there's a very real chance your character will die. So be prepared. <laughs> that's uh, that said, I have a safety net. Uh, I'm not sure if Kali mentioned the lingering injuries uh, mechanic. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, again, as time goes on, you'll probably see if you like if my DMing or talking style will be all right or not really. As you probably can hear from my accent, I'm not a native English speaker, but I try my best. Um, and uh, yeah, I did speak with Derp a little bit, and he's not like. I kind of will have to speak with him more, but he's like, he might be sometimes be able to get in like after the session starts, but I will have to like speak with him more like, hey, we need to like figure out in universe how we can explain your character just going on and off. Because I need to say like after a time, if I have too many elements going on, it's kind of hard to also control mm -hmm. another PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, you should also be able, if you have any like issues controlling your uh, character sheet, because you will have it in the uh, yeah the actors, the PC folder, and it should be uh, yeah Bui's PC, That's the one that you can edit and um, control. I am not using really DND Beyond, so any like integration, exporting, importing, you'll probably have to ask uh, Samal about that because I think Samal uses uses it. I think maybe. Mm -hmm. I use the, the the what is it Beyond Twenty. Ow. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, you can't delete them. Learned that last time. <laughs> what did I do? You moved your character onto the screen. Can <laughs> <laughs> they do me like that? No, no worries, I can. Get him out of here. man. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, you have, Get him out of here. You have the trusted uh, player rank, so you should be able to upload uh, the character picture on your end. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying. Oh, and I'm also, <laughs> sorry, from bookkeeping stuff. Uh, yes, I, I'm not sure if you've seen, but I couldn't really see your uh, character on uh, DND Beyond, and apparently it is possible to set your stuff to private, so I guess that's why. What? Yeah, oh. you're, you're on your character sheet, when you do the builder, on the first part of the page, uh, when it, when you choose the stuff that you can choose from, on the bottom, it'll there's either private, your own game, or public. Oh, it might be yeah. yeah. There we go. Alright, problem solved. That was quick. What's the party comp? Wait, what do we what do we got? Uh, <laughs> monk fighter, comp? monk rogue, uh, life cleric ranger, rogue artificer, and you. Ooh, another warforge. I nice. No, sorry, I'm yeah, done. Yeah. Not another warforge. because. Uh, uh, Mosseri, Mosseri wasn't Mosseri wasn't like yeah, I'm 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 mixing yeah. up stuff. <laughs> Another oh. Warforge, we say, <laughs> having faster. our our past uh, life experience uh, come into our brain. My brain. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a sudden vision <laughs> of a, of another life. <laughs> Close my eyes and I was somewhere else. Everything went dark. <laughs> it's dark. Okay, let and me just, horrible. Uh, Give it a quick look around. Oh my god, 22 AC, fucking hell. And one with the angel team is playing. <laughs> As a man, we All beat right. the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I saw God. I saw then God. I him off. Thunder. All right. <laughs> yeah. I remember a werewolf was there. <laughs> uh, so, just so that uh, redundancy is done, Bowie, you did see the bit that basically every spell provokes wild magic? Yes, I All did right. see that. All right. <laughs> Thankfully, Divine Smite isn't a spell. <laughs> It's just expending yes. a spell it's slot. A, it's a <laughs> good character feature. Yeah. Yeah, I picked that for that reason. Kind of. It's a good one. Um, it's okay. We'll find ways to <laughs> kill your yeah. character anyways, okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Someone else will probably kill you, to be honest. But yeah. Probably should mention uh, that while I try my best, I probably will get some rules wrong. And, uh, but as this party knows, I am fine with being called out and, like, said that, hey, DM, usually it works that way, like, stuff like that, so. It happens. Mm. I don't care. All right. Okay. Mm I mean, that's a silly stuff. Feature and traits. Okay. Actually, just no. Um, but yeah, essentially as for the world, kind of the focus is on this map that you see uh, currently. Obviously, other portions of the world existed. They are kind of in the process of being annihilated. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you want to come up with like basically any nation, civilization, culture, religion, whatnot that existed, that's part of your backstory, go wild with it. Cool. If I feel inclined, I will. Alright. <clears throat> Although I think that with the... Uh... Oh, also. Uh... Obviously we won't be going through that uh, again, but if you are interested in how we basically dealt with uh, checklist for session zero, it is visible in uh, the... Uh... Yeah, out of character folder in the uh, journal uh, page. Whoa, session zero checklist. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, but yeah, so probably one of the like biggest things at least for me is that uh, I yeah, kind of no no PvP, please. Okay. <laughs> like, no, sure, your characters don't have to like each other and whatnot, but. You are cooperating with one another. Mm. Ah, and I think also I'm again. It's hopefully it's gonna be cooler tomorrow. But today it's been another day, like for day in a row that's pretty hot. So I'm a little bit scatterbrained. Plus being after work. Uh, but yeah, I think like the biggest question right now, or rather like a brainstorm that we probably should do is uh, basically figuring out how your character uh, not really fits in the party like joins the party and that probably means I need to ask another question uh Ali, did you give like much of a recap of what went down where you are currently or just uh I didn't do any of that. Okay. I just did um, mechanics, general premise of the world type stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. So basically to explain where the, what party did is that they started at Pioneer's Gate. Hold on, I need to like the other pink so that, okay. So basically at the edge of the map, which is like a gateway into this frontier and traveled all the way through the pioneers road and ending here and basically the last session we ended the party was just entering what in its prime was a bastion basically a fortress standing across a river crossing uh, basically a gateway before people reached the port of golden leaf and but as they approached the uh, crossing, the, the fort, looked pretty damaged and abandoned. 
Okay. Oh, also on the left, if you go to the bookmarks, like journal marks, you'll see the notes um, of oh, the journal different locations. Notes. Yeah. Port of Golden Leaf. There it is. Yeah. There you go. You can get general information or detailed oh, information, control. depending on if we've been there. Or in some cases, you can make a knowledge check uh, if you don't have to see the place uh but if if it's a check like inside investigation perception then basically fluff wise it works that way that you have to be there to use that uh skill to get uh, information mm -hmm. so maybe let's start from a different angle because sure i see like the class levels uh, basically at the abilities uh but if you were to introduce the character to us as players and the party, um, who is the Warforged Dagger? Uh, okay. Um, do you want to know, like, are you asking what his whole sh story is, or you just want to know what he is? I mean, what do you deem as a like good character introduction to the party, so that right, we know um, with with what we are working. Well, then, okay. So then, on on appearance, he's short, kind of short, like shorter than a average hero would be. He's probably around five ten, um, but standing behind him is like a seven foot tall, what looks like another war forged. Um, but it's actually just hit, like, it's the steel defender and it kind of looks like it's been put together piece by piece, um, kind of scrounged by other pieces of other war forged and then reanimated by some magical means. Um, his story for you guys to know is that he was obviously a soldier as like all war forged are. Um, but after a particularly brutal battle, his entire side he was fighting for was wiped out he was left on the battlefield and his close friend that he was friends with for a long time ended up dying and he rebuilt him kind of like a full metal alchemist mm -hmm. if you've seen that i um, read so the manga kind of... i get i get the inspiration very nice yeah. yeah so his steel defender is kind of inspired by the I can't remember the the, the the dude's name, but the guy's brother in a uh, Full Metal Alchemist. So Alphonse. Uh, yeah, Alphonse. Alphonse. Exactly. Yeah. So there you go. That's who he is. Nice. Right. Very, very cool. And I'm not sure how you feel about that, but that backstory immediately gives me an idea of like, instead of him being like complete random, that he might have a tie with a different character. And I'm looking at fruit. <laughs> I'm not sure if you want to uh -huh. go with that, but... <laughs> yeah, dude, whatever, whatever, man. I mean, I left the backstory okay. really, really, really open. So, mm -hmm. like, he, I, I left the battle that he was in ambiguous. I left kind of what side he fought for ambiguous. I I mean, it's it's very flexible. So yeah. I'll give you Thrude's backstory and you can yes. decide whether or not you would like to know me. So, Thrude is a Simic hybrid. She was found in a lab by a bunch of humans scavenging around. And they awokened her cryopod that she was uh, in from like a long lost era. Um, so she awoken fully mature. Um, she beat them half to death out of fear uh, and then joined them. Eventually she went off to go do her own thing and she became a mercenary wandering across the roads. Uh, she's been alive for a very long time. Um, she settled down uh, eventually until uh, someone took her home from her, and she is once again on the roads. So she is around 250 years of traveling on the roads as a mercenary. So she knows a lot of mercenaries, a lot of people who are wandering around for work. So if you think you would know her during that time, then you could. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could argue that he was probably doing mercenary work. So yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see why not. It makes sense Perfect. to me. Uh, she is a very tall. Uh, like drow simic hybrid because they're elven people. Yeah. Um, and she's 
kind of like a very lanky older woman. <laughs> Still <Ooh>. very buff. <laughs> a very buff, lanky older woman. Mm -hmm. I can get behind that. Mm -hmm. I do have one uh, forge question. How the heck do I change my uh, token so it's not just oh. a stupid guy? Uh, you click I on the picture. It in that like starting. Mm -hmm. I, you click I did. on. The I'm in picture? the character sheet right now, and it's not. If you double click the picture, does it pick pick up uh, image browser for you? Yeah, like a choose file thing. Mm -hmm. I I did that. I updated everything, and it's not there still. Hmm. So. Mm. Prototype weird. token. Uh. No, 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 no. Click on your it's gonna picture be on of the main uh, actual thing itself. Yeah, the, you know the the mysterious figure person. Click on that picture. Do I click on that in the character sheet or? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it's just making me do death saves. <laughs> no. What? Um. Uh, hold on. Let me share my screen. I think I, I because I I, I I think I should be able to show you exactly what should happen. Uh, Chrome tab. Window. Okay. So, when I click on my character profile, it just it pops in this image browser, and yeah. So when I'll do it again, click on picture, just left click, and then it pops up an image browser. Then you choose a file on your computer, so on. Try then, you know. That's hmm. weird. Here, I'll share mine and I'll show you. Maybe he hey. doesn't actually have the, the trusted user for some reason. Uh, Maybe. Hey, that would be weird. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, that would have probably be changed like later. Um, right, because right. Uh, if it had like zero, zero hit points, oh. it didn't register. Oh, it changed. It yes, changed. because... Yes, because I put like one oh, hit go. point, so... Gotcha. Okay. I wasn't going crazy. Cool. I will end the stream. Perfect. Oh, man. <laughs> you don't want to... You want to keep watching? Nah, nah. You're good. <laughs> I'll leave it open for you the whole time. <laughs> there we go. There you kind go. person already. Okay. Nice. And then is it a drag and drop, or? Uh, yeah, drag and drop. Is it gonna be giant again? I mean, it probably will fit the. Uh, it the fits whatever square is on the map. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, like right now, we are using um, the single icon right there above you. Uh, if I could fucking ping it, thank you, um, to symbolize where the party is. But yeah, when okay. we're going onto a battle, you'll be dragging. But yeah, and then with prototype token, you basically can edit that if the party sees your name, if it sees the um, health bar, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna delete it for now, but yeah, token works. You guys have these fun circles that are moving everywhere. Is it just your cursor? Yeah, that's showing where our cursor is. Yeah, we cursor. see you too. I was like, what <laughs> the hell is that? Yeah. I've never used uh, Foundry, so... Yeah, that's a good one. I'm a roll 20 nerd. The same. <laughs> I had to learn a lot as well. I mean, yeah, I, I kind of had like five... It's not much compared to like many other veterans, but like 5k hours in roll fit and then uh, like... And then I was like, yeah, I need to basically try Foundry finally, so... It looks, it looks cool so far, I mean... I mean, in some aspects it's fucking amazing with the modules and the disabilities. Okay. Is there a quick way to do the character sheet, or is it all by hand? It's basically all by hand. Yeah, okay. unless you want to connect it with the D and D beyond. Yeah, Samal, how did you do? Because you, you have the... You get an app called Beyond Twenty, and then it allows you to roll stuff on the character sheet. Oh, and I have it... that already. It just it I... 
I just do some test rolls. Like, I'll do something right now. Just... Does it do it in the chat? Flick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just posts. Yeah. Alone, yeah, I know what oh. Boo is asking. Like, somehow you had to, like, put in Foundry. Oh, that one. I got out of the way, though. Hey, I got it. It's in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> it's just oh, a, yeah. it's, you just have an app in your browser, and then it just connects the two. Like, Okay, so you didn't have to like input manually the data in the foundry. It just no imported no. it. Yep, I just I did that on the side and here on foundry just because of, I just did. Or I guess. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's see. All right, I think I'm good to go. Whenever at least we're still waiting for cap, but it's true. I mean, with. That's it, because I'm trying to uh, rack my brain if 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 uh, Dagger would be like someone they would meet, the party would meet along the way, but that would have to be like very recently, or if they would find um, him at the uh, at the crossing. Because I'm just like trying to rack my head around like how to. Mm -hmm. Basically, make the meeting. I mean, sure, I can do this. Basically, Occam's razor. So make this very simple and straightforward. But uh, but I, I, I like definitely with this uh, campaign, the players can attest that I try to wherever possible like, ask players for their uh, input. I'm cool with whatever. Yeah, I'm cool with whatever too. I mean. If you want me to decide how they meet, or you want Callie to decide how they meet, that's cool. Or if you if you want to just figure it out how I how I meet the party, I mean I I'm not picky. Uh okay, let me ask a different question. Before because obviously that's deep into the silent lands and probably Dagger was traveling for a while now. Um uh, not ignorant to the apocalypse that's been happening uh, all around the world uh, would uh, is he the type of personality that would have preferred to travel alone or would he stick with a caravan of sorts with a group he probably was alone i don't think he would have i don't think he would have picked a group for like not, not for any reason, not because he's like, I'm a lone wolf, I do this on my own. I just think he never had the opportunity to, or it never presented itself. So I think if he knew Thrud, um, I think he'd probably kind of be jumping at the bit to say, yeah, I, I want to fight for a group again, kind of like he did when he was a soldier. So I think he would be willing to join. I don't think he'd be with a group previously, though. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, that's what I was saying, that not... not asking for the pc uh, for the party pcs but if you like we're traveling with some like npcs be beforehand uh, but yeah, no, that also answers my uh question so my idea uh, not keeping this as a spoiler because i just want to keep it above the table is that uh because obviously the situation is dangerous and despite his abilities um somewhere and there can happen and i imagine that during the journey uh, dagger had to do some small scavenging like looking for spare material some scrap metal to do the repairs or am i thinking completely wrongly oh it's kind of how it happened uh he his his warforged friend went down all intents and purposes died um and just kind of took his like corpse think like chewbacca holding c-3po on his back and then oh, just yeah. kind of as as uh he found other parts of other war forged and other various metals and whatnot he kind of put him back together and was able to magically reanimate his dead friend but not effectively so it's just a steel defender I'm glad we both have PTSD because this really works out well for us as friends. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> I lost my wife. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, from illness. Horrible. So we both have PTSD. <laughs> All 
I have robot PTSD. Mm -hmm. Which is almost worse because like they they're like all found family pretty much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm so stoked to play this character. All right. I can't, I can't lie. I've soaked a trauma bond with you. Here we go. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, so my idea is that uh, one, the party will meet you at this crossing. The reason why you are here, obviously you are also uh, traveling um, about. Uh, not sure if you would, if you would have reason to go to the port directly. Actually, that's the question. Uh, how's Dagger's relationship with water? With water? Water. Water. Bo body, bodies water. of water. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is Walter? <laughs> uh, I mean, he's he'll 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 go in water if he has to. I don't think Warforged are like vulnerable to it. So, mm -hmm. but uh, he has oh. no like fear of it. Okay. Uh, also, yeah, that's a quick question. Have you looked at the green portents? Uh, because also that's the thing that the party decided at the start of the campaign that what is the flavor of the apocalypse? <laughs> and basically, one of the options picked is called umbral tides, which basically means that every large body of water is like. Stormy and weird monsters came come out of it. We picked some uh, good ones. Cool, yeah. I mean, whatever the group picked. I do unless you get. Do I need? No, to we're pick asking if you would still like to stay near the water after yeah. knowing this. <laughs> oh, I will. What again? The, well, do these monsters come out of the water frequently? Uh, actually, uh, you know what, uh. Dagger can roll either, uh, what would he use to hear that? I think diplomacy is like for either diplomacy or perception or history. You can diplomacy make uh, isn't one a of those checks. skill, my friend. <laughs> uh, persuasion, sorry. Persuasion. I'll make, uh, <laughs> you said perception, persuasion, or what was the other one? History. history? Yes. I'll do perception. Why the heck not? All right. Are you joking? Are... <laughs> Can the bad rolls other way? <laughs> I've rolled two nat <laughs> ones in them a out row. They're under the rug. <laughs> in a row. I mean, that's crazy. Uh, how do they? I, I'm not sure how they translate in English, but it's like uh, it's not how you start; it's how you end. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how you start is how you finish. Love it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, sadly, Dagger, probably because he was mostly keeping to himself, wasn't really didn't really have much chance to hear various uh, rumors, and it kind of missed him. Obviously, he knows that shit is going bad, and very bad, uh, but it kind of, like, he's not aware that, oh, hey, big bodies of water are not really safe to travel. You can still try. It's gonna be fun and interesting, but uh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, uh, back to, and also uh, basically the main rumor, like the main premise, is that Dagger somehow also heard that hey, there might be salvation somewhere in that portion of the Silent Lands, like to the western edges that there might be a sanctuary that might save you it's not confirmed but hey it's better than just standing still and waiting for your death yeah cool so yeah, back to the main idea i had and because of the relative works uh dagger very recently as in maybe less than two or three hours ago uh had a uh, encounter a very nasty run-in with a rock but for whatever reason this this rock looked one it was quite angry too it looked already quite injured uh as if it had it had a also nasty fight semi semi recently yes kai it is the same fucking bird because you didn't Motherfucking kill it bird. <laughs> 
Oh, rock like R O C. Like R O C, rock. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it tried to carry me off. <laughs> oh no! Like you're a chihuahua. I beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, you managed to prevail. However, Rock is quite a nasty enemy, and uh, you basically had to find a place to gather replacement parts. Uh, basically, fluffwise to get material to repair your uh, steel defender. And you guess that basically armory of a fort is as good place as any especially since the gates are completely wide open the place seems deserted so hey finders keepers cool unless yeah. unless dagger because again i don't want to imply character on dagger's part unless Dag dagger has like very strong moral ob objections against uh, maybe not stealing but like repurposing uh someone else's property in his mind he's still a soldier he still has like a job to do so he'll he'll do whatever he needs to do to to get his goal accomplished so i don't think he has any issue with stealing all right go fit right in <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i like to steal points to our merry band of thieves yeah, Hell we like yeah. stealing. <laughs> we like theft. Only from bad people so far. So far. So far. Uh, there was that one... Or or either bad or dead people, because you had that one... Yeah. Uh, basically, basically, they had like a very good random encounter roll, and they found like collapsed pathway, and basically dead decaying uh, corpses of elven uh, folk and a caravan that had some quite loot, nice loot in it. Yeah, Thrude's view is like, if they're dead, they're not using it. Might as well. <laughs> if they're dead, they're not using it. Yeah, that's exactly... He has no issue. I mean, like, you, his entire backstory is they're dead, they're not using it. He, like, literally looted a battlefield of warforged corpses and built another warforged out of it. So... Yeah, he has no issue with that whatsoever. All right, I'm, I, I'm cool with that. Uh, yeah, basically, one of the interesting things, hopefully, will be to see like what path the characters take morality-wise in their pursuit of survival. Um, but yeah, I imagine that's how uh, the party will meet uh, Dagger, because I looked at your character sheet and considering the freaking passive perception of some of the party members <laughs> cough cough truth <laughs> despite being fucking blind <laughs> no, my hearing's really good leave me alone <laughs> yes these uh, patterns don't mean shit <laughs> what's your passive perception is it 20 20? Like oh, what the heck, how'd you do that? Uh, easy. Expertise. <laughs> uh, I got skill expert. <laughs> dude, my passives kind of suck. Yeah, it's the fine. Thir 13, 12, and 9. I think three of us took skill expert as our feet. Ah, uh, yeah, so, I did not do that. Yeah, the high percept. I picked... Uh, I'm very much defense-oriented. I am supposed to be a tank. So. I'm a dodge tank. Or getting there. Not yet. Fully there. I have an AC of 22. Fuck you. What? <laughs> yeah, I f I'm pretty sure, yeah. yeah, that the dagger will have the highest uh, AC mm -hmm. because Mozarin only had 20. Yeah. yeah. I have an AC of 22 <laughs> and I took the uh, protection fighting so I can, I can nice. do the exact same thing my Steel Defender can. I can just impose disadvantage on an attack two shield so i can impose boys. disadvantage on two attacks on two different enemies at once so amazing yeah i'm kind of stoked also i need to ask like mechanics wise uh when it comes to combat uh will you need like two tokens like are you essentially like playing 
two I will two I will be using yeah I don't I don't use the artificer homunculus a lot because I think it's kind of useless I do use the steel defender though so mm -hmm. I will I will I will if it's easier I can send you a token for or you can just decide what no no, no it's works. fine because I need I need to know because kind of the way it works with tokens is that I kind of will have to like set another uh sheet for you just so that you can like upload the uh token and like move it separately uh yeah because compared compa compared to roll 20 uh i don't think it's possible that you, for you to just like put in a token and it's like not connected to um, anything mm -hmm. yeah i mean it's not i mean it's final minds i just like basically asked before him because i know some of our party members had companions but not all of them needed a separate uh token so, I mean, uh, I, I'm going to be, I was planning on playing very heavily into the Steel Defender. I was going to take, like, full advantage of it. So, it might be kind of annoying if if it, if it there isn't a token. Yeah, that's what I uh, okay. meant. Okay, so... Uh, but, 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 but for this, I think I need to basically treat it as a... Maybe not as a vehicle, but... Uh, Kind of like a vehicle for protection. Delivers protection unto us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're small, you can technically sit on him. He's Do large. Do we have anyone who's so... small? Uh... Not at me! <laughs> Points at me. <laughs> you can sit on Seal Defender. <laughs> Ride them into battle. I think it's uh, right. considered large, right? So if you're, <coughs> can you sit on them if you're medium, or does it need to be small? Uh, it's one size larger, so. Yeah, so if you're if you're medium, you'll fit. Not sure how that's gonna yeah. work, but we'll see. If that doesn't work, he's not, I'm. He's, he's not like a four-legged steel defender. He's like a very tall, thin steel defender. So. Terrifying. Yeah, basically, I don't like that. Uh, stop making. I keep making Star Wars references, but he kind of looks like K two S O from Rogue One. Oh, okay. All right, I watched the movie and I needed a moment to rack my brain. There's a lot of Rogue Rescue. Star Wars. This is not a yeah. request. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Okay. Now I remember. Uh, but yeah, for now I use the uh, basically ve vehicle template for character sheet. If that won't work for you, uh, Bowie, I, I can like I do a different one. No, it's perfect. It's mostly just so that we can have a separate uh, token. All right. So again, sorry that we are jumping from one thing to another. Uh, Shadley Cup is still not with us, but uh, hopefully he'll be able to. In. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, essentially Dagger is present at this ruined abandoned crossing, basically spelunking and conducting repairs to his uh, steel defender that managed to give nice hits on the uh, rock, but basically took some hits in uh, took some hits in return, uh, and that's why. You Needed to raid an armory of whatever what le was left for scrap uh, scrap parts, and uh, yeah, considering the party's perception, it is pretty fair to say that uh, very shortly upon entering the area, they would uh, hear that despite this place being seemingly abandoned, uh, there is actually some uh, movement uh, happening. Let me put you to the right. And they would mostly hear it because as it is right now, the party arrives at the ruined outpost uh, during the night. If you want to... Um, I just had this thought. If you want to like play this as like like my steel defenders damaged mm -hmm. going into the game because of this last um encounter and like I I still need to look for a couple parts as like a 
little side character motivation. I'm I'm cool to do that. I mean, uh, I don't want to uh, basically do a mechanic mech uh, mechanical punishment. It's mostly for uh, for f Just story purposes. For fluff, I, I and it's, yeah. because again, I feel like uh, basically. <laughs> Basically, you come in with your character, and I'm really like, oh, you're still defender has like half hit points. I'm like, eh, that yeah. would feel bad. I actually think I named him too. What did I name him? Crush. I named him Crush. Oh. Like the turtle. Right. Very I good. Did not put any freaking music on this thing. Oh, We're sitting here art. with our thoughts. I know this is horrible. <laughs> so Callie's thread. Is Caps pr just this pronounced Gerard? Is yes. He yes. Stupid? Okay, also, this is the se stupid. second person who's calling my character thread. I'll never escape this pain. Thread. 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 Yeah. Thread. Oh, thread. I, I see a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's after the Norse god. <laughs> the Norse god Thrud. Yeah. The person, people who found her named her that because she punched the fuck out of them. <laughs> Heck. They were like, god damn. I mean, uh, basically, my explanation uh, or justification for butchering pronunciation is the fact, again, I'm not... Oh, you're fine. I, yeah, I think I said I, I think I said fruit as well, not crab. Yes. <laughs> or the other way. That fuck it out. Sorry. I'm... You got it right. Stop That's all right. I know. Because <laughs> so far only Camp and Boo have made the correct in, or incorrect pronunciation. <laughs> I will not do it again. You're fine. Everybody else just waited until mm. I eventually said it, and then I, they were like, "Okay, cool." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have that problem in real life too? Do people yes. like, get your name wrong all the yes. time? Yeah, I do too. Uh, my name's Bryn. <laughs> and oh so dude, people call me uh, Brian name. or Brian or Byron or Brianna. <laughs> my name's Brady, right? I get Hell yeah. Brad, Bradley, Brandon, <laughs> Braddy, yeah. Brody. It's horrible. Soldier in arms. Where's my money? <laughs> so much. Where's my money, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've started to consider like genuinely changing my fucking name. I'm like, what if I just end don't it? do that, man? It's only I, bad when you I go I to stop? Starbucks. I used to fucking work at Starbucks. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I'll get it there too. What'd you say, <sighs> bro? Yeah, it can be bro. Too bad that uh, JP had to go be right back because be as you were like turning and entering this uh, abandoned crossing, because you are also traveling with a bunch of saved kids. Yeah, yeah. And basically one young adult. And I was going to uh, basically give uh, Beatrix uh, a chance to spot something due to. Uh, her background, but oh well, it will have to wait for a moment. <clears throat> if we'd like, I can tell everybody to wait here and I can scout ahead. Because unlike them, I can climb vertical surfaces. I have a broom that flies. Okay. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> but you can't climb vertical surfaces, can you? <laughs> you have to use a broom. <laughs> Why is that even an issue? Is this more <laughs> Leave me alone, I just want to have something. Alright, yeah, okay. also, but, here's the thing, you got all of the party that has flying capabilities since the start. I know. Listen, I thought it was cool to have, like, little claws that let me climb up things, and everybody can Am fucking fly. Am I the only fly. one that can't fly? <laughs> I can't fly. Oh, okay. I climb, though. I thought about picking, like, a flight tool, but I didn't know we were all doing that. Alright. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> oh, I think two P two party members have a broom of flying. Yeah, me and Beatrice. The two PTSD ridden uh, can stay on the ground and just kind of vibe. <laughs> yeah, we you live aesthetically. It. It's like yeah, when, I believe in you guys. It's like when Superman and Flash get to the battlefield and 
Batman rolls up in a car. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's, that's us. I don't even have a cool car, man. They ski rolling. <laughs> Am I on two feet? <laughs> My steel defender is technically a vehicle, so. <laughs> uh, let me roll stealth, because that's what she would do. Um, and I'm going to just scale the wall. I'm just going to go up there. Bonus action dash, main action dash, fucking sprint up the side of this fucking keep. Right? Uh... This looks terrifying, by the way. I look like a fucking lizard, like, climbing up this goddamn keep. <laughs> it does not look like a sane person. <laughs> what race did you say you were? I'm a simic hybrid. I'm basically animal gene spliced with elf. Yeah. Very that's cool. So That's so sick. Mm-hmm. And I think most of the uh, party members, at, after a moment, they would only see, like, vague shape. On the wall yeah. and that, that's assuming they would be like have good perception because yeah it's the middle of the night and usually your dark vision kind of stops like at like 60 feet or in some records it's 120. Um, but yeah as you scale the wall and reach the top after a short while it is a quite nice fort at crossing but it's nowhere near the most impressive uh, fortresses that you have seen in your uh, long life. And what you see from up top um, already confirms what you've been suspecting since you've seen the wide open, partially blasted open gate, uh, front gate. And that A, this place has been more or less abandoned. Uh, at first you do not see any movement, but very quickly you do hear uh, sounds of clanking, clamoring, metal against metal, uh, of someone or something tinkering. Uh, coming from a section that you basically... you That's probably the first time you, you, are, you are in this place, but after a long service in military you can probably guess that usually they keep armory slash blacksmithery or rather forge i should say in a specific section uh, mm -hmm. so imagine that's where that sound is uh, coming from that said you also see some signs of uh, violence and uh, combat there is a visible damage in some of the uh, sections does it look old or new? Uh, from your current uh, position, it is hard to determine. It doesn't look ancient, I would say that way. I'll climb down uh, on the other side of the wall. And I'll just quietly move through this keep. To kind of get a view of why this was a keep before. Like, was it here for a defensive position? Uh, was it here because they there was something under it, like a like a cave system? Things like uh, that. You can make a history check. Story or investigation? No. <laughs> uh. -uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sally, or rather, like, what's your? Hold on, I need to check. What's your intelligence? Uh... It, it's like eleven. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's quite close to the fo uh, port of Golden Leaf, so like, they probably needed a fort acting as a gateway. Mm -hmm. It is built on a river. It's basically this fort is like, basically also a crossing uh, over the river. Providing crossing over the river, I should say. Mm -hmm. But sadly, you but do not like, huh. get in, like, uh, more. But as you're, like, moving through, uh, yeah, the sounds of clanking. You're kind of, like, making your way towards that uh, source of sound, which is basically the only source of um, audio senses in the vicinity, apart from odd howl of wind. Or maybe like a very, very, very far distant echo of a beast. Or a scream. Nice, hell yeah. 
Um, do you have any lights lit? I don't know if Warforged have uh, dark vision, depending on which one you're using. If I have dark vision? I mean, he would probably have light lit. I'm sure he would. Okay. I'm sure he'd have, like, a campfire or a torch or something. Yeah, he'd have some sort of form of light. Maybe, like, one of the old sconces put a torch in it. Yeah, yeah, we could say that. Like, I lit a, I lit an old brazier that was kind of just, like, just lying dormant. I just kind of lit that up to continue working on... Yeah, light. exactly. Very much like this idea. All right. Uh, then I would probably see him from far off, but she'd probably have to get pretty close to actually recognize who you are. Because it's most likely been a long time. Um, I don't know how old you want Dagger to be. Uh, I'd say he's but, probably... I mean, how old are you? You're probably very old, right? 300-ish. <laughs> yeah, I bet Dagger's probably closer to... 20? Okay. I know that the Warforged you... aren't usually that old, but he's probably a more yeah. recent construction, considering all of the war that has happened. Okay. Then you would hear as you're tinkering a voice out from the darkness. Dagger? Um, yeah, I'm going to just whip my head up, because I haven't actually heard someone say my name in forever. Um... And I'm going to look around. I'll walk into or... the light. Oh, yeah. And I turn and immediately face you. And I d immediately don't know what to say. I say, are you... How did you... Were you looking for me? or? She'll Where put her hood down. From? And she'll say, it's been a long time. No, I was just scouting the area. It's good to see you again. It is very good to see you again. Um... I have. Did you did you see that that bird that has recently gone by? Was there a huge fucking bird that came through here? There was. It's kind of why I'm stuck in here. I don't. I I was not able to kill it, and it took a large chunk out of my friend here. So she like she like kicks the dirt, and she's like, "God, fucking thing." Yes, I unfortunately got carried off by it for. Uh, well. There's only a few moments, but they let go as soon as we figured out. It figured out that we weren't easy prey. We? Does that mean there's a group? There is a group. A bunch of... I guess you could say survivors. That's fantastic news. Where are you guys headed? Uh, we're going over to Gordon, Golden Leaf just to meet up with some old friends, old mercenary friends of mine, as well as to stock up on supplies before we head continue... Uh, to the west well if you're looking for a plus two i'd be happy to tag along once i get my friend here up and running again uh you see her walk up and i'd say that the throod you knew was probably someone who barely ever spoke like they seem to be much more put together than when you knew them they were probably fairly depressed because it would have been a recent death for them it would have been mm -hmm. a lot. Um, so she looks both better and worse in sense of like personality wise. She seems a lot calmer, but you can see cataracts on her eyes, uh, downward shaped moons over her eyes mm. that are beginning to form, which is like the old age for elves. That's how it shows. Yeah. I don't think he's um, going to say anything about that. I just think he's very happy to see a, a, a familiar face mm -hmm. for the first time in probably a couple years um she'll walk up and clasp your forearm like give you a full-on shake yeah and she, he'll do it he'll do it right back and he'll 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 like wanna reach in for maybe like a hug but he'll kind of hold himself he'll, <laughs> she yeah, hugs he kinda, you really fucking tight <laughs> perfect perfect yeah, he kind of <laughs> like starts to go for it but kind of hesitates and i guess you pick up on it and mm -hmm. cool. she you could you can see that there's a lot more happiness to her now um, oh, she used to be a lot more tactile because she used to just be a fighter. So you would have probably known her when she was still wearing like full armors. Now she's mm. going into monk as well. So she's very much more mm. like at peace mentally. Um, like and she's it. made a lot of friends and she has a disciple, which is Gerard Ooh. actually. So <laughs> That's sick. Cool. Um, um, 
Uh, f I have a question for DM. Would I have? I mean, I'm guessing that I would have scouted this area out. Do I know if there's if this area is empty, like of of other enemies besides the rock, or from your? Have I not... uh, yes, from your current. Actually, not before I give a full answer. You can give me either perception or investigation, Harold. I'll give you perception. Hopefully, it's not another nat one. That's not good either. That's an eight. Not an at one? Yeah, this is not an at one. Uh, from what you have seen, you kind of... You, I would say that uh, in that moment, to basically explain this result, is that you are more concerned with like getting your friends the necessary repairs. You did make sure that in the immediate vicinity, because this fort is actually quite large. Yeah, I got uh, so you basically made sure that the section you are in, the let's call it the forgery, not forgery, fucking hell, the blacksmithery's forge uh, quadrant section is like clear. You, for what it's worth, you did not hear anything else uh, being active uh, in this place. Um, okay, then I'll tell yeah. her this immediate area is clear. I have not ventured very for far into it just kind of i've scrounged around for various bits and bobs i could use to put them back together mm -hmm. um but i'm not entirely sure if this area is safe and i don't know if we can stay here but at least it provides shelter from that bird well if that bird comes back i'm gonna slit its fucking neck um and i will help you i will help you do that um but for it now it seems like our priority should be meeting with the group However, yes, they're outside the walls. I called, I told them to rest. Um, well, I scouted ahead. Um, we have some refugees with us, children specifically. We're escorting them to the city. Hopefully, I can find somewhere for them to be safe. Um, but yes, um, of all of us, though, I believe the two of us would be the only two of true military background. Um, the others are a bit. Still strong, still dependable, but not of soldier type. All right, well, strength in numbers at least. Indeed, that's how uh, we survived so far. Exactly. The, the refugees may be safe here for a short time. Um, it, this place is, is well defended, and I'm sure it wouldn't be too hard to clear this area out considering our numbers and the territory. If if it's up to the if if the group would like, I mean, we could try to. I don't know, maybe hold this area down and fortify it to make it more defensible, or we can keep moving. We we'll probably the need one to keep to moving, but we'll see if the kids need rest. If they do need right. a good night's rest, we can at least set up shop here for the night. Sounds Come, good. I'll show you to everyone. All right, and then I'll. I'll just toss this. I was like, had a wrench or something in my hand. Actually, I had my, uh... So, another little bit thing that you would notice is that I picked the all-purpose tool for my thing. So I have, like, thieves tools, smithing tools, mm -hmm. all that stuff. But I picked the item so I could have it built into my hand. Like, one of my hands can oh, kind sick. of, like, switch into whatever tool I need. So you see his hand quickly, like unfold and refold and you hear gears clicking and it turns back into a normal hand and he goes all right lead the way this way um she'll grab the torch out of the sconce sconce or light a torch with the 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 brazier and lead the way because most will forge don't have night vision <laughs> all right cool as this was uh happening um hanami and also, just in case, uh, Kai, if you still have access to JP's sheet, you can roll mm -hmm. nature or insight for um, Beatrix. And Hanami, while you were uh, left alone, not alone, but like with the munchkins, the kids and uh, the other part members to hold down the uh, fort. Uh, Actually, that's a question from me to Hanami during this journey, because you already spent a few hours uh, going with the the kids uh, before reaching this place. Uh, was Hanami paying any attention at all to them? 
us and yeah. like okay however uh well, they are young and you kind of realize they maybe they are traumatized but they don't really speak much they also seem to be very um, quiet like non non verbally uh, you probably s uh, realize that from time to time they glance at uh, you as you are probably even shorter than some of them in some cases although i don't know yeah i do remember correctly that hanami is like very short 211 211 yes wow short king the shortest of kings even yes I'm a lord. No, just kidding. Anyway. We love our gender nondescript plant king. <laughs> I guess Hanami's kind of content just because it's like, yeah, hey, uh, we have a bunch of kids, and we're talking. It's great. <laughs> yeah, they very much seem like non issue. Uh, JP, are you back with us? Oh, kind of. Hi, sorry. It's just I'm dealing with a lot of things at once. I'm so sorry. But I shall be done for the time being. Alright. Uh, give me a second. Uh, so, um, Batrix, uh, you, basically, this is. Uh, uh, skill check that you would notice as you were traveling for a short while with those kids. You can't exactly grasp it, but watching them behave, uh, some part of it is like, oh sure, they were traumatized, they just survived almost getting ambushed and killed by a bunch of ashen monsters. But the other part, think how they seemingly cooperate and understand each other without speaking uh, kind of reminds you of uh, of animals and actually even of bees like this uh, like hive mind behavior that's what I'm sensing not sensing but that's the impression you are uh, starting to get did what? I already make any check or? Yes, uh, I basically I asked uh, Ali to make a roll while you were uh, away, oh, and I, I, I rolled twenty one, so that's why I oh. <laughs> gave you this information. That's See, that's why you roll for me instead of me rolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Guaranteed hmm. simple decent rolls with this small so, hack. <laughs> I assume that I. Uh, um, from the pieces that I could gather. I'm with Hanami, right? Uh, yes, you and Hanami are... I mean, technically I didn't mention, so I would say like Mosserin is also somewhere in the uh, background providing security. Uh, uh, he's spaced out. He's fine. Yes. But yes, you are with uh, Hanami while uh, Fruit went to scout the area. Okay, um, I'm going to just tell that to Hanami, just kind of just pull to the side and just whisper and be like, Hey, these kids are acting pretty weird for a bunch of kids. Hmm. It's been a while since I was a kid, I don't know what they're like. I mean, they don't usually act like... A sentient life form. Wait, no. Let me rephrase that. They usually don't act like a hive mind. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Probably tell Thrude when they get back. Yeah, I okay. I'm gonna do something. If I start going crazy, like slap me so I'm back to reality or something. Uh, uh and I'm going to use my. 
Kalashtar connection power, and I'm gonna try to mentally connect to one of the kids, just like a random kid, the one that may be acting like suspicious, and just kind of say like, "Are you okay?" Okay, before I answer, when Abatrix is doing that, what part of her is expecting will happen? Or is she like doing this without any like expectations at all? Um so okay. Let me let me read the part. So when I use this trait, I can use an action to give that creature the ability to speak telepathically with me for an hour. Uh, 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 uh. So what I'm pretty much doing is just like talking to the kid and seeing if the kid can answer by its own will or if something else happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, that uh, explains it uh, pretty well. Okay. Uh... And I would say it would probably connect with that uh, young adult. Because I did say that there's like five kids, but one of them is like more young adult uh, range. Um, and there is a momentary pause. Uh, either the, the kid in question, because you watch, watch him, he, he startles, he slowly looks around, unsure, then closes his eyes and... Uh, says uh, uh, yeah th th this is weird and uh Carly, if you uh, you can uh, roll uh, insight for Badrix if you still have the shit open <laughs> me wanting to fucking save innocent children the fucking children horrifying crying <laughs> All right, uh, with a 12, I will give you this. Uh, what Patrick gets is that there's a singular voice uh, responding. Um, and... Hmm. Actually, yeah, if it's a singular voice responding, but... You can shake the feeling that uh, uh, what would be the best analogy to use? Uh, okay, like a real world analogy.